You want to learn how to make these motivational TikTok videos that you see everywhere. I mean, they got lots of views, they're easy to make, and they're actually fun to edit. So in this video, I'm going to be taking you by the hand and showing you exactly how to record these, the right camera settings, and a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to edit these from scratch. There are some principles you need to follow to get these juicy shots. First off, get the camera's high track. Stop filming from the ground and actually lift the camera up. Make sure that it's level with whatever you're doing. You'll notice that in a lot of these shots, if he's doing push-ups, the camera's on the ground. If he's using a machine, the camera's level with his body. Second, record in 1080p and 60fps. This is simply the standard or even the bare minimum. Recording in 1080p is going to give you very nice clean footage. And in case you ever needed slow-mos, that 60 fps is there to help third this is the important one you'll notice that in a lot of these shots the subject is very dark and the overall theme is generally very dark now how you do this is you have a camera setting called iso and so when you decrease the iso less light goes into the camera and you'll get this dark image so you'll just need to find the iso setting in your phone's camera and tone it down now you didn't click on this video for some camera settings so let's just get right into the editing all right so i've just launched premiere and i also created a new sequence in it by going to file pressing new and creating a sequence and only changing two settings making the frame size 1080 by 1920 and the time base 60 frames per second now the first thing i had to do is import my footage that i recorded so i have these all in the file i selected all of them and just dragged them onto here now the next thing i'm going to need is to find some motivation so i just went on youtube and looked up some motivation clips and i found this clip of david goggins i'm going to go ahead and drag it in now i'm also going to need some music in the background i'm just going to go ahead and drag in this song and now we can actually begin the editing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is drag in the motivation. Just go ahead and zoom in. Now I don't actually need the video, so I'm just gonna alt drag and select this. Click backspace and delete it. Next up, I'm gonna watch through it and I'm gonna find the parts that I'd actually like to use in the video. So now we're gonna actually use our footage. So with this clip, I'm just gonna drag it in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take one of the sets that looked pretty difficult. So this one looks good. Nice. I'm just gonna cut right before it happens and right after. This is a good enough space. Delete everything else. Alt drag, remove the audio. And I'm just gonna do this with the rest of the clips. That way I end up with only the footage that I can actually use. And before I continue, I'm actually just gonna add in the music and I'm gonna find the beat drop that I wanna use. Right, this has a very nice build up it's pretty long and uh, it has a very good drop so that's pretty much gonna form the music for our video let's go ahead and drag it in this is gonna set the general outline for the rest of our edit and before i actually continue i'm just gonna find the beats the actual music so that i could sync up the clips to the way i do this is i'm gonna watch through it try and find the rhythm of the song and add markers where i think it's correct all right so the beat drop is right here i'm just gonna add a marker on the beat drop and let's keep watching so as you're watching through it, you kind of get a feel for the rhythm. And so every time there's a change in rhythm, I'm actually going to play some marker and you'll see this for yourself. So watch how I do this. All right, now if we go back to the beginning, and as you can see over here, there's a change in beat. The next clip I have is just me walking around at 5 a.m., and I'm gonna go ahead and put that up next. So in the beginning, there's really three statements before the B-drop starts to build up. I'm actually just gonna sync the clips to the statements that David Goggins is saying. But for every statement that he says, there's gonna be a clip. So if we mute the layer with the music and just listen to what David Goggins is saying. There's always someone out there working harder than you. I'm gonna go ahead and make it so that the clip starts when he starts a new statement. So this is his first statement, this is his second, and this is his third. So let's just see how this looks. There's always someone out there working harder than you. I'm haunted by that motherfucker. All right, perfect. I have a clip of me eating, so I'm just gonna have that next. And as the beat drop starts over here, this is where it's gonna get interesting. So these are some good looking clips. And what I'm actually gonna do is I drag a clip on and for the next two segments, I cut out the black parts in it. Then I delete the empty parts and then delete the rest of the clip so that we can add in a new clip. So here's my next clip and we'll just keep doing this for the rest of the time. There's always someone out there working harder than you. I'm haunted by that motherfucker. You make sure in life you think about that person. You make sure they put a name and face to it. You, you make sure the name and face is yours. You need to have so when the beat actually drops, I'm just gonna have a bunch of clips timed up with the beat changes of the music. And this is pretty straightforward, you'll just see what I do right now. So all I do is I look for this beat change over here. We're gonna take one of these clips of me working out, and we're just gonna put it over the beat. And let's just see how that looks like. Alright, looks nice. Here's another clip of me working out, and another, and another. And now I'm just gonna place these right behind each other. Here's the next beat, and place the next clip right after it. And okay, it looks like we're actually almost done. 
All right, I really like how this looks, but it's a bit too slow. So what we're gonna have to do is change up the pace. So I'm just gonna actually move this clip right here so that in one period where the beat changes, there's actually two clips. All right, there's a clip of me putting on my shoes, which is just gonna be used in the beginning because that's gonna help show that I'm actually leaving to the gym. There's also another clip of me walking through the door, which is actually also gonna help with showing that I'm going to the gym. Really trying to show you guys that I am going to the gym. All right, let's just go ahead and watch through this. There's always someone out there who's working harder than you. I'm haunted by that motherfucker. You make sure in life that you think about that person. You make sure they put a name and face to it. You, you make sure that name and face is yours. You need to have All right, that looks very nice. Now you're probably wondering, this doesn't actually look like any of the TikToks that I've watched. So what we're gonna do is color grade. Yo. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select this one right here. I'm gonna go to window workspaces and open up the color workspace. To get that dark look, there's generally just a couple things that we're gonna have to do. First off, I'm gonna bump up the contrast so that my clip is a bit more intense, but this is the trick. These two dials, the whites and the blacks, are what's gonna change everything. So if we increase the blacks, you see we kind of get a washed out look. And if we decrease the whites, we get a darker image. You could really play around with these to whatever you like, but generally I like to keep the whites down and the blacks up because it gives it this washed out look, which is gonna look nice as a background. And so in a clip over here, which has a lot of light, you can see it's actually way too bright so we're just gonna drop the exposure down just a tiny bit however for this part over here we could just go ahead and add an adjustment layer go back to the editing tab click this button over here create an adjustment layer press ok and add it on top of our sequence now over here there's a lot of different cut up footage so i'm not just gonna go in and color grade each one so we're just gonna color grade the actual adjustment layer that's on top let's see how this looks now there's always someone out there working harder than you i'm haunted by that motherfucker you make sure in life you think about that person Alright, this looks genuinely really good. So, this is the part that's actually gonna be pretty annoying. We're gonna have to subtitle every word he says. Now, if you wanna learn all about subtitles, I'm gonna have a video talking about everything you should know about subtitles coming up very soon. Alright, so I did that throughout the entire video, and let's just watch through it. There's always someone out there working harder than you. I'm haunted by that motherfucker. You make sure in life when they think about that person, you make sure they put a name and face to it. You, you make sure the name and face is yours. You do the haunting. Get in somebody's head. Own space. So we're gonna add just one final touch. So what we're gonna add is a VHS overlay. Yeah, I've just downloaded this VHS overlay from YouTube and I just add it as a layer on top and then change the blending mode to screen. All right, let's watch it through and see how this goes. There's always someone out there working harder than you. I'm haunted by that motherfucker. You make sure in life when they think about that person. You make sure they put a name and face to it. You, you make sure the name and face is yours. You need to haunt you. This looks very good. Now the final step is to actually export it. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna go to file, export, media. Select the location you want. Make sure it's an H.264 and I'm gonna export it. And there we go. You've got yourself a motivational video. Now honestly, this turned out pretty good. And I think if you post this on TikTok, it would actually bang. <laughs> if you're still watching, thanks a lot for your time. Share it if you want with a bunch of friends and uh, like and subscribe and all that shit. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.